Hi, I'm Kirby Allison, and in this installment of our FAQ series, I'm going to answer your question about how to clean velvet slippers. We spend a lot of time here at Kirby Allison Hanger Project talking about the care of leather and suede dress shoes, but there's also other shoes made from textiles like velvet, suede, or cashmere that also need to be cleaned. Now we have a great product for cleaning those, and that is the Saphir Omni Netanyant suede and textile shampoo. Now we talk about using this primarily for suede because, you know, there's more suede shoes out there than there are textile ones, but really this product can be used on almost anything. It's an exceptional product, especially for cleaning those textile shoes that otherwise would be very difficult to clean. This is simply a liquid that is used to really shampoo and clean shoes. Now we've got plenty of tutorials about how to use this for suede and the process for using it for something like a velvet slipper would really be much the same. And that is you want to pour it into a small container and then use a brush to really get into the nap. Now this comes with a small cleaning dauber, but as you can see, this thing is tiny. And so what I would recommend is actually using a larger dauber like our deluxe or large uh, cleaning dauber to really use this and get into the nap of the shoe itself. So you simply would shampoo it. It's going to get all wet. You'd rinse it uh, under the faucet just to get some, uh, any of the residual uh, suede cleaner or textile cleaner off of the shoe. Allow it to dry. And then after it dries, it's very important for any material that has a nap, like suede, to then brush it with a dry, clean brush afterwards. And what you're going to be doing there is just kind of re-fluffing uh, that pile that naturally falls flat whenever a shoe gets wet and then dries. In this video, I'm wearing one of our Kirby Allison Sovereign Grade ties. This is a Grenadine Grossa uh, Navy tie. I like the Grenadine Grossas because it has a slightly larger uh, uh, weave pattern than, say, a Grenadine Fino, which is quite fine and formal. This Navy tie uh, is really a staple and something that should be in every man's wardrobe. It's incredibly easy to wear, especially whenever you're wearing something that has a lot of patterns going on. I've got a patterned uh, Zinnia uh, odd jacket, uh, a striped blue shirt, and so to have any type of tie that also had a pattern would just be too much. And so this is really something that's great to use, a nice solid tie. Uh, I'm also wearing a, a Simino Godard uh, woven uh, pocket square, a beautiful pocket square. Love Simino Godard. And we have a large collection of their pocket squares here at Kirby Allison Hanger Project. Of course, this tie is tied with my signature old birdie knot. We have a video on the YouTube channel where I teach you how to tie this beautiful, slightly asymmetric, long old birdie knot.